okay um welcome back uh, so in this video i'm gonna show you how to use action miner to uh, select a uh, best subset of the variable to construct uh, um, a, uh, the uh, multiple linear regression model so um the same as before now uh, the first step is that we uh, from the original data set we're gonna partition the data into subsets um, training data and validation data with the percentage of 60% and 40%. Right, so once we have the um, partition data, uh, we can go into the predict multiple uh, linear regression model. Um, now we're going to select everything. The target variable is going to be a median cell values right here and the uh, uh, input variable is going to be every uh, variable variables we have. Uh, next, um, so in order to select, select the uh, best subset of variable, we're using the function variable selection right here. Uh, we select the perform variable selection. Uh, maximum number of best subset can be 13, and we can select the best subset. Okay, uh, here we select the number of best subset equal to 1. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. We can select this one as well. Finish. Okay, uh, so once we uh, perform the uh, best subset selection, we're going to have the uh, uh, some of the output right here. I think the uh, 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 the uh, part we're going to go into see going to be variable selection right here. Okay, so the algorithm have been uh, run. Uh, and uh, uh, produce the uh, best subset uh, with the different size of the subsets here. So uh, we're going to sort the, uh, uh, num uh, the different uh, subset uh, based on the uh, value of adjusted as square from larger to smallest. Okay, so we can see right here um, the top three best subset going to be a uh, number coefficient is a 12. Uh, with the adjusted as we are sick at 0 0.68 uh, uh, 13 and 0 0.68 uh, oh, 05 and uh, 0 0.695 okay um so we likely the uh, subset will be they have the uh, 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 good performance uh, but um, in order to uh, ensure the performance of the uh, uh, a model with the, the variable have been selected right here uh, we need to run it so uh, we're gonna uh, select right here to the subset so the um, uh, building function gonna select the uh, uh, subset of variable uh, in this case right here uh, we uh, don't use the two variable in that and age um, I think the reason here is that because in that and ACF is a very strong correlation with other variables have been selected right here. So uh, that's why the two variables uh, have been uh, dropped out. Uh, we're going to click next. And in this case right here, we're going to select uh, the detail report and so the leaf chart as well. Finish. So that means uh, the uh, uh, first. Uh, Subsets of variable have been selected to construct this model. So you can see right here number of predictors. So here the number of predictors have been selected for this uh, specific model. Uh, and here the uh, coefficient have been uh, uh, computed based on the training data. And here you can see that the adjusted as square will be uh, uh, the same as before 0 0.68. So it's mean um, the uh, 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 very the the the, the variance variance of the uh, target variable can be uh, or the uh, selected variable right here representing about uh, 68 percent the variance of the target variable okay so it's much better than the uh, example before uh, where we select only three variables and now you see that the uh, a root mean square error also drop uh, lower than the example we got before. Um, so the training uh, uh, data score for 0 point, uh, 5 point oh six and the validation for point uh, fourteen. 
Uh, similar, uh, the um, a program also produce the uh, uh, predicted values, uh, again, the actual value and so the uh, residuals as well for the training for validation data. Uh, it's also for do the leaf charts as well. So for uh, the uh, uh, purpose of the uh, for the purpose of the uh, um, assessment, you need to copy this one right here. Uh, just uh, click right here and select a copy right here and you paste into uh, Microsoft Word. Okay. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the root mean square right here, we're gonna copy the values of the. Uh, a root mean square arrow of the validation right here to the uh, to the array uh, to, to the uh, report in order to compare different scheme okay um so that's gonna be the uh, the um, uh, 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 first model right here we do the same for the other model right here by clicking this one uh, this one gonna select one more variables and also we do the same uh, we run the model we produce the uh, detailed report and so leave chart finish and then uh, we can see the regression model around here so now one more variable have been added to the uh, 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 new model and you can see that uh, this one uh, with the more actually the uh, uh, a root mean square error of the validation uh, data a little bit uh, higher than the previous one. So this one a four point fifteen. The other one we have a uh, four point fourteen. Okay, so uh, we uh, do the same for the uh, first three um, best subset and uh, we we, we uh, compare them uh, in order to uh, determine uh, which of the uh, 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 subset right here produce the best performance of our uh, data mining model and we can be used for a deployment all right um so so um i think that's it for this uh, tutorial uh, show you how to run the android to uh, select the uh, best subset and uh, test the performance of the uh, selected variable um, and compare them in order to um, determine which one gonna be the best for deployment right um thank you i gonna see you in uh, uh, at the uh, tutorial